I don't think I've ever felt afraid to go back into Aruba because my daughter is there. That's the last place that I know that she has been. It's been close to 15 years since Beth Holloway first set foot on the island of Aruba looking for her daughter, Natalie. This past summer, we brought her back with us. It feels good to come back in this frame of mind where I'm not searching for anything that the Aruban officials or people have to give me. The island of Aruba is not Natalie's life. This is where Natalie's life ended, but this was not her life. Natalie was born in Memphis, Tennessee, October the 21st, 1986. Not too long after, Matt, her brother, he was born in Memphis as well. When Natalie was just six, her parents, Beth and Dave, divorced. Then I met Jug and married Jug in 2000 and moved to Mountain Brook, Alabama. It's a beautiful community. These were people who were comfortable. They were Mercedes, they were BMWs, they were corporate executives. They were wealthier than most of us. And Natalie was entering into junior high school. She made friends right away and fit in right away. Natalie was a beautiful girl, involved in the church, always had a smile on her face, always so happy and energetic and, and outgoing. They called her Hootie. There's Hootie. <laughs> so Hootie Who Holloway. Hootie. Who's our special guest today? It's Hootie. Hootie Who Holloway. Hi, friend. Just, you know, sitting in the back, cruising over to my place. The beach was a blast. I had the best time of my life. Natalie was so remarkable. If she set a goal, she did it. I guess it was the ninth grade year that these girls start trying out for this dance team. It's called Dorian's. She continued to make that dance team. You know, no kid is perfect, but on paper, Natalie certainly appeared to be. You know, she's heading to University of Alabama in the fall. Straight A's, probably gonna be a doctor. It was all I could do to hang on to her, all of her dreams and all of her goals. By the time Beth makes her way to Aruba back in 2005, her daughter Natalie has been missing for almost 24 hours. Beth tries to retrace her daughter's last steps, and she figures out that the guy she was last seen with is Joran Vandersloot. Joran was born in the Netherlands in 1987. Three years later, his parents moved to Aruba, so he really considers himself a local. Coincidentally, Joran had been spending a lot of time at the casino that was attached to Natalie's hotel. And at some point, they were looking at surveillance tape because they knew that she had been in the casino. And the casino manager actually found the tape. And Beth, for the first time, was able to lay her eyes on Yaron Vandersloot. If Natalie Holloway was someone who spent Saturday nights maybe with her mom and made cookies, Yaron Vandersloot was not someone who was making cookies with his mom and dad, if you know what I mean. Yaron Vandersloot was in the casinos. Yaron Vandersloot was at Carlos and Charlie's hitting on the American girls. In the video of Yoren's 15th birthday, which was two years before Natalie disappeared, he is having a great time dancing with all the girls. He struck you as the type of kid who would hit on 10 women knowing that one would say yes, and the nine who said no, he didn't much care about. It's pretty clear that this is a guy who is not lacking in confidence. Okay, um, this poem is about some of the few memories I have from when I was still young. Yaron Vandersloot was a headstrong, free-willed young man who was accustomed to getting what he wanted. 
What I saw on the footage from the Excelsior Casino was Natalie was seated at this blackjack table in just kind of her own little space. And then you're on. Once I saw him, I was like, we've got it, let's go. It's time to go to the police now. We finally get two Aruban police officials to accompany us to the Vanderslope home. I remember the police turning on their siren. Now, you've got an Aruban police car coming up to the Vandersloot home along with two van loads of very angry young Alabama parents. Yaron's father comes out. He starts to talk quietly with a couple of the Aruban officers while the Alabama people, the contingent, stands out by the van in the street. The gray Honda that Natalie was last seen getting into is parked outside the Vandersloot residence. And Deepak Calpo and Yaron Vandersloot are standing out in the gravel driveway. Deepak Calpo was a friend of Yoren's. He and his brother Satish were actually seen leaving with Yoren and Natalie that night. In fact, it was their car that they all left in. And Yaron says, yeah, okay, I was with her. You know, we fooled around a little. I dropped her back at the Holiday Inn. That's all we know. And then he describes, I don't even want to get it, but he, he graphically describes the sexual activity that he engaged in with her, okay? And that was just like over the top. The men that I was traveling with, they were all fathers. And you can imagine the tempers. And they start yelling, tell us where she is. Come on, tell us where she is. It's bickering and yelling. You would tell them, stop, you know, just talk like normal people. This threatening and stuff like that. We're not used to that. Finally, Iran said, I'll show you. I'll show you where I dropped her off. So Yoren agrees to take the whole group back to Natalie's hotel, where he says he dropped her off. He says that she got out of the car, and that she stumbled, and that she hit her head. And two security guards helped Natalie up. And he says, those are the last two people that he left Natalie with. Little does Beth know that the story that she just heard from Joran Vandersloot is the first of many that he is going to tell over the years about what really happened to her daughter, Natalie. He was just hitting his chest and, what do you want me to do about it? This is where I brought her. At that moment, that's when I thought, you're it. Did I know what was to come? No. But I knew that I was going to hang on to him till my last breath. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.